All right, you little fifth graders. We're moving on in language arts, learning something new. We're going to spend two weeks on this. That's right, two weeks. You have to learn all the rules for titles. All the rules for titles. When you see a title in a sentence, there are certain things that you must do. And we've got to learn those things. In fact, there's ten things that you're going to learn with titles. I'm giving you the PowerPoint. I'm giving you the notes. We're going to be practicing. You'll have a test in two weeks. Let's begin. First of all, quotation marks. When you see the titles of the following things, you are supposed to put it in quotation marks. Use quotation marks to set off titles of poems, short stories, songs, chapters, and articles. And I gave you two examples below. So in every single sentence where they give you the name or the title of a poem, a short story, a song, a chapter, or an article, you make sure you put that title in quotation marks. That's five things. Now also, underlining or italics. Now listen to this rule. When you are typing, use italics. Italics looks like this down here where it says Iron Man. When you are writing by hand, use underlining. Now, of course, that's what underlining looks like down here. It says the New York Times. Now, for this rule, when you see the title of plays, books, newspapers, magazines, or movies, you will put it in italics or you will underline it. And I gave you two examples down below. Okay. When you're typing, you'll use italics. And when you are writing, you will use underlining. Now, all of our work is going to be done with typing. So sometimes I'm going to say underline. Sometimes I'm going to say italics for these five things. And sometimes I'm just going to let you choose. On your test, I may mix it up a little bit. you got to remember italics and underlining are the same thing for the same title. Now, quotation marks, those five things, will always be quotation marks. So you're going to have to memorize these five things. Let's go back and review, uh, if I can. It won't let me, but I'll go back in a second. I hate to be that guy fishing. Have a nice day. Not yet. Let's go back. Quotation marks. Here they are. Points. Short stories. Songs. Chapters. And articles. Notice all of these are really short types of writing. So any kind of small type of writing. Like a poem is not very long. Most poems. Short stories are not long. Songs, if you write them out, are really not that long. Chapters are not long. Articles are not long. It's not a lot of reading and writing. Those things you would use quotation marks for, but you got to memorize these. Now, underlining and italics, these are really long types of writing. A play, a book, a newspaper, magazine, movies. Okay, All these things, underline or italic, depending on if you are writing or typing. Number one, it says, my favorite song about weather is Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head. The title in this sentence is Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head, and it tells us it is a song. That means you are to put quotation marks around Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head. Number two, I love to read Newsweek. Now, Newsweek could either be a magazine or a newspaper. Okay, Both of those things, magazines and newspapers, you underline or you put in italics. So here, I would underline Newsweek. Number three, 
Philip went to the library and checked out the dog who saved the world. Now, in the library, of course, that's our hint that this is a book. So, the dog who saved the world is the title. That means I would underline that. Or, if I'm typing, I'd put it in italics. And number four, the raven is a scary poem. So, the raven is a poem. That means quotation marks around the raven. Last but not least, the shark. Have a nice day. So there you have it, you little fifth graders. You gotta memorize those ten things. In two weeks, you will have your test. Now, go do your practice assignment. Get on it.